All right, guys, so we have an exciting video for you guys today. Today, we're actually going to go over something called Chat uh, GBT. Now, Chat GBT, let me show you guys. It's all right on the screen right here. So, if you guys see me turning my head, it's because I'm looking at the monitor. So, don't get confused. I'm going to be looking at the camera and the monitor. When, when I'm doing stuff, I'll be looking at the monitor. When I'm talking to you guys, I'll probably be do, doing both looking at the camera and looking at the monitor. So, right now, we're going to talk about something called Chat. Uh, it is Chat GPT, sorry. And it's by a, a company called Open AI. So we're gonna type in O, sorry, Open AI, then Chat GTP. All right, so I'm gonna go here. If you guys haven't already uh, tried it out, go to Open AI and go to, uh, I'll leave a link to this URL in the description, but go to this URL right here and type in under uh, Open AI Chat GPT, type in try uh, chat gpt once you click that uh i already created an account you just have to create your account i linked mine through google if you want you could create your own account through their site and just you know give me your give me all your information your email address and create a password and all that but yeah that's pretty much it so let me just close that that's how you uh set up this whole thing but this thing, I, once I first, uh, once I started playing around with it, I didn't realize how powerful it actually was. But once I started testing it out and I was blown away. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do an experiment. Now this thing can do a million different things in a million different ways. But one of the one of the coolest things about this, it can actually uh, do code for you. In this video, we're gonna focus more on the code. But uh, so let me show you exactly what I mean. So I could say, write a pi, sorry, Python code that prints hello world this is just something stupid it can do way more complicated things this is just to show you guys that it actually does work so it's actually gonna print out the code for hello world so you could copy and paste it so we all know if, if you're into programming that this is the code for hello to print out hello world in python so we're gonna ask it something else something more complicated we're gonna say can you write, I'm sorry, and you write a Python code to create a, let's say, uh, create a r random set of, let's say, to the arrays. All right, so let's hit enter. Let's, can you write a Python uh, code to create a random set of to the arrays? So it's, Nothing too crazy, but you know, it, it's actually doing it. So this is the code right here. And then it'll explain every line of code. And it's still going, by the way. So it, it, it finds as many, uh, uh, it finds as many things it could find out about the specific task you asked it to do. And it'll just print out a really detailed list and instructions with the code on how to do it. That I found out is uh, one of the cooler things I found out is it can actually print out assembly code. It, it could print out any programming language uh, you want it to, but I found it really interesting that it could print out something like a, a assembly code. So I used to code in assembly 8086. So I'm gonna give an example. So I'll say uh, write a -S -S assembly code, or I should say write uh, 8086 assembly code for printing all prime numbers from one to 100, right? And let's hit enter and see what happens. So again, it's printed out the assembly code and the code does work and I did test it out because I tested it out earlier. Now, the reason I asked it to do this is uh, when I was in college, I had a assembly class. Uh, we, uh, one of our finals was to do this exact thing, but uh, print out all the prime numbers from uh, 100 to 999. So, I was one of the only people in the class that could actually get it to work and I lost my code. And then like having something like chat uh, GPT uh, printed out for me, it's, it's amazing. Now we're gonna uh, try one more thing. Now, uh, this can do some pretty, uh, pretty illegal stuff as well. Like you can ask this to uh, uh, give you instructions on how to create like a Tor browser or how to find all the hacking tools on the Tor browser. So. I wouldn't recommend this, you know, this is just for test purposes. Um, you know, I, I don't hack, I don't recommend anybody hack other than educational purposes. But you could write something like, uh, can uh, write all the instructions for 
creating a Raspberry Pi Tor R O U T E R router, right? So we, we all know that uh, Tor uh, Tor routers are exactly what's needed if you want to go on the dark web and get all those illegal stuff or all those illegal tools. So. As you can see, it's giving you an outline right now. It's already giving us an outline of everything that we need uh, to get this project started. And it's giving us all like the commands and code we're gonna need. And this is just like 1% of what uh, this whole thing can do. It, it's amazing, I, I'm still blown away. If you guys haven't uh, heard of this before, please write in the comment, uh, di didn't know. <laughs> and so I, so I get an idea of how many people actually didn't know about this. And if you did know about this program, or if you, or if you heard about it, but you hadn't really uh, messed around with it, right, uh, I knew. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. We're gonna do a lot of videos about this. We're gonna be testing this program out. We're gonna be seeing what we can actually get to do, like how complicated can we, uh, can we get our uh, answers from this. We're gonna test out all the craziest things we could possibly test out with this, so. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossBartech.com and thank you guys for watching.